So you should look at MGTOW as a pilgrimage, a self-pilgrimage. And I'm going to read something for you. It goes something like this. While so tra traversing the earth, he, he's talking about a, a, the man on the journey, um, simply performed duties to please the Supreme Lord. His, or God in other words, his occupation was pure and independent. So he was doing this out of free will, which is what you should be doing in MGTOW. It should be free will. It shouldn't be like approach out of disgruntled, you know, with a disgruntled heavy heart. You know, you got to be doing this for your, as out of free will for yourself. He was constantly sanctified by taking his bath in holy places. Um, obviously, you know, hygiene is important. Um, although he was in he was in the dress of a mendicant and had no head dressing, hair dressing, nor a bed on which to lie. Now I've talked in several videos where, so in at least one of the videos where this woman approached me about how I was dressed. And um, when, when you're in self, when you're on a pilgrimage or you, you know, you're on a, a purpose, you have a purpose in life, sometimes you know you can't always be you know, dressed nicely. You know but you got to be clean you got to be clean um all right dressed as a mendicant and had no hairdressing or bed to lay on thus he was always unseen by his various relatives all right so you're in migtau you adopted a migtau philosophy you go on your own way you want to be able to um, as you as you're developing yourself and growing using the MGTOW mindset as your platform to to like really um, grow and develop and you're looking through life through the through the MGTOW lens which is one of many so don't uh, assume that the MGTOW way is the only way um, it's just one of many um, choices and the more op options you lenses you're able to look through and identify things the better off you are um, but for the purposes of this channel I'm focusing more on the MGTOW way um, Swami Prabhupada he said something along the lines in connection to this particular statement he said while traveling as a pilgrim one should not be war we worried about pleasing society okay this is your journey MGTOW is your journey it should be about your edification and growth and development and as you grow and develop the people as closest to you will see the see you changing along the, you know see your, your your changes on the journey those that haven't seen you in a while uh, will see will know it's you except that you maybe presenting yourself in a different way or that they're not familiar with I see these changes all the time in the boxing journey a lot, a lot of young men and girls women come in and they're one way in the beginning and as they're going through a journey their demeanor change their mindset change they, it's still them physically but your personality changes to some extent they're all, it's uh, it's an amazing thing to, to see and you know I read this only to give validation to what you know what I talk about so um, you know you can see it's not just me just spewing stuff that may sound good <laughs> and make sense but may not maybe uh, has its foundation based in pseudoscience so um, obviously this is a spiritually based thing but you should approach MGTOW as a spiritual journey it's one of the many spiritual journeys not a religious journey but a spiritual journey for self -edic edification and growth um, you would also find as you grow and change say you were a jerk or whatever you were you know you lost some respect from people around certain people around you even from your previous relationship um, when you do encounter these people again uh, because you're coming from a different mindset a different way of thinking a different 
uh, demeanor altogether. Um, you may have been able to balance out all eight healths and if you don't know what those are, check out one of my other videos where I talk a little bit about each one of them. Um, these people, you can actually regain some respect from these people. Um, and a lot of times they would have forgotten a lot of transgressions that you may have caused because you know being a MGTOW doesn't necessarily mean that you were the perfect one it might have been that you may not have been perfect at all and she might the woman might have had reason to leave right and you were just too blind to see it and now you jump in MGTOW uh, the MGTOW philosophy being disgruntled but you but MGTOW is about looking at oneself. It's about, it's another form of a meditative state, if you think about it from an a Eastern philosophy. Um, and, it should, and it's always, it's constantly moving, and it's, it can be, cha it can change, you know, fluctuate and changes here and there, but the principle is basically the same. Self-growth and development. Now, if you, dis if, 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 even if you've gone your way, own way, you really don't want have an interest in women ever again, or relationships. In your life, you're gonna to have to work with women, either in the workforce, you know, in the community, where, where, you know, you'll be interacting with women at the stores, wherever. So, you have to be, I guess, happy, self-contained with your happiness and joy, um, where the, you know, these women don't reflect or remind you of bad situations or even situations that turned out bad based on the things you have done as a man. Um, if you have any questions, ask it in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe. Share the video if you think it's helpful, it can help somebody. Um, I know this is more spiritually based, but it is applicable uh, if you want to grow in the physical world in this dimension that we're in. Um, you all have a good day.